Hey everyone, welcome back. We finally got a day warm enough to do something outside. We've had minus 45 degree wind chill. Today it's about 60 or it's going to be 60, so we're gonna try and put the seal in the hood of the beetle. Been driving it without that for a while and it goes right here in this track. And what happens is if it's a little cool outside, the, um, the air comes back right at your hands on the steering wheel. Uh, let me walk around the other so side. So if it's just a little bit cool outside and you're driving your hands, obviously you're going to try to keep them at 10 and 2 most of the time. And the air is coming through here, blowing right on your hands, and your hands just freeze because we don't have a speaker in this one. And you can see daylight through there, right in here. So the air is definitely coming back and making it a little chilly here. Plus the hood doesn't sit quite right without that. It just hasn't been... Uh, a top priority for us. So I'm going to try to get that in today. The other thing is, if you remember, I believe when I was talking about pickle, when I was working on the uh, duck lid the last time on that video, I knocked this emergency brake loose. I pulled it, pulled it up too far and then that made this connection. There's a little hook back there that came off. I'll try and video that repair. I'm going to fix that as well. That's a little difficult to get into uh, with a camera, but I will try and show you how to fix that. And note to self, don't pull that as far as you possibly can because it does not help. So let me get set up and I'll turn you back on and we'll try and get that seal in there. So if you notice there are three, little thing get the camera on, three little holes there. And on the seal on each side, we've got these three uh, little tabs that have to go in there. And then the rest of it's just gonna slide Get the camera in there just gonna slide down that right there i've gone down the whole thing and made sure that it's all pulled out that there are no dents or anything in there so i'm hoping it should go in pretty easily but i'm gonna start in one of these corners and work my way around all right so i just wanted to point out one of the things that tricks that i kind of use uh, you can see the get close enough where you can see it there's a little nubbin that sticks out a little knuckle that sticks out of this seal piece and there is a slot in the car that that has to go into now when i put pressure on that it flattens it out and makes it bigger so it's going to have a real hard time going through that tiny little hole right there so when i try to put something that's already too fat to go in there and put pressure on it it's not wanting to go in so let me show you a little trick that i use to get those in Unfortunately, we don't have the best lighting here right now, but hopefully you can see this. So what I do is I take a piece of thread. You can use fishing line if you want to, but this is just a piece of nylon thread. And you're just going to make a loop that's a cinch loop that gets tighter as you put pressure on it. And we're going to put that around that little stud. And when we pull on it, it'll elongate it and make it skinnier and then we're just gonna pull it through the hole. So let's see if I can make that happen to where you can maybe see it. And then you, when you get to the inside, you just reach up with a pair of scissors and cut off any excess that you have left over. Fishing line works better. I didn't have any. So we just have slipped that around there. So we're gonna feed this loose end of my string through up here where my index is, and we're gonna pull on this. And when we pull on it, it's gonna elongate it and pull it right through there. So I just need to feed both of these ends in there. And sometimes you gotta watch because it'll loosen back off as you're feeding it through. I'm actually gonna cut that so it's not frayed. We have to change camera angles on you here in a second. Alright, so let's see if we're still on there. We're still on there. I'm just going to line this up. Pull it through on the inside. And actually, let me see if I can move the camera where you can see that. And unfortunately on this one, that hose and the hood uh, hinge itself are actually right in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one through. And I think we'll be able to see that one pretty well. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and feed the string on this top one as well. And just feed both of those through. So when I get to that top one, I'll move the camera inside. Uh, the bonnet or the underneath the hood there and we'll you'll be able hopefully to see how that's 
uh, able to kind of skinny itself out as it comes through there. So I don't know how much of that you're going to be able to see. I may have to actually uh, put you up inside on the other uh, side. I've got the second one is in, getting ready to do the top one. I did put a little bit of soap on these, like I said earlier. Or at least I think I said that. Twist that guy around. You can see we're right here ready to go in. You can actually kind of feel it pop when it's ready to go. That simple. That guy's in there. And then we'll just go underneath and where this thread is, we'll cut that off. So again, this has soap on it, just a little bit of soap. And I'm just kind of working it all the way down. This comes to a dead end when you get to the bottom. And there'll be a place where they will most likely overlap and at that point we'll cut it off so let me just keep feeding that guy in there actually i'm going to put just a little bit more soap on this because it's sat long enough that uh, it's kind of dried out a little bit feed that back just give it a little bit of slack so we can make that turn that looks good all right put a little more soap on that and feed it down Sometimes you have to get a flat straight edge or pull. You can pull this lip up just a little bit more, but I like to just kind of follow that same method of putting the uh, upper one in. You don't want to make it fatter, so I kind of just will pull with my hand to make it skinnier, and then you can shove it up in. So you just take the, the lip that's sticking up, pull down on it. I don't know if that's showing up on camera or not. That makes this ridge line just a little bit skinnier and it's real easy to then just push up with a straight edge and slide it in. So that's what we're doing all along here. And this one's actually going in pretty easy. If it doesn't go in real easy, you may have to pry up that lip just a little bit. Like right here, somebody's done just that. And so we'll probably have to actually come back with a hammer and kind of hammer that down a little bit. Once it's in there, it shouldn't be too problematic, even if it's a little bit loose. So that's looking really nice. And right down here where the body seam is. Whoops, sorry. About dropped you. Sorry about that. Right here where we've got the seam. That gets a little bit tricky and you want to make sure that it's not going to poke a hole in it and rip it. So you want to make sure that the ends of this are almost turned out a little bit this way so that you don't put a hole in it. Can you see me? I'm right there. It's a little bit of a bend I didn't see right there when I was Kind of prepping this. Yeah, I'm gonna bend that out just a hair. Oh, there's something in there. <laughs> that might have been our problem. A piece of old seal was in there. Yeah, it must be that way all the way down. And you can see when it's soaked up, it really slides pretty easily in that track. stop there and kind of see where that next one marries in once we get it up where it needs to be on the other side. I will say this is a lot easier to do with the hood off. Uh, with the hood on, you're leaning in under, under it. Which is, it's not that hard to take the hood off, but here I can do it without 
again. I'm just working it in and under. See if I can get you up here so you can see what I'm actually doing. It's probably going to be kind of echoey. Hang on a second. Keep my big hands out of the window there. That looks pretty good. We'll work to the other side over here. All right, so we're back to this other side and I just need to put a little soap in this area. I probably should have cleaned that out a little bit. Kind of wipe the other side down. Uh, clean that up. I'll put some soap on that. We're gonna put some soap on these, these three points and do my little thread trick. And I think on this one, I can be able to get you in and aimed right because we don't have, uh, that other side has, there's a hose coming down. All right, hopefully you can see that. Should be catching you right on the bottom of the screen there. And I just covered the hole. So put some light in so you can kind of get where you are right there. And let me cover that up. Alright, work both sides back down to the front. And I'm just gonna split this. I've got plenty of excess. So I'm just gonna split it right in the middle. So going off the center line here, just make a cut. And we'll make a cut. Right there. I'm just gonna slide that guy up in there. All right, so that's how that goes in there. And if we look around, I'm actually probably gonna take a little bit of a, a hammer or something, kind of hit that in right there, so to make sure we don't, that doesn't pop out right where that split is. But that looks a lot better. Around the edge there. That's what it's supposed to look like. Let's hope this stops our air leak issue. Went in really easy on top. So I'm going to call that a win. Remember the string trick that I use? That is uh, super simple, super cheap. And you can use that on a lot of different places other than just putting a seal, hood seal, on a Volkswagen. Now, should we see if the hood shuts? <laughs> That's the next thing, right? Should have named, uh, named this episode the Muddy Boots Garage. A little soupy out here. Yeah, see if we can get the hood shut. Told you. I'm gonna have to dress the hood latch. adjust that guy down a little bit. Hopefully it's not out all the way. All right, so everybody's laughing. Everybody had a good time. Yeah, we knew that was gonna happen, right? So I can't remember on these if it's adjustable. It does look like it's adjustable, but I think this has slots in it as well. Yeah, let's go for this one. I think this slides up. There's a slit. So this bolt here is in a track that allows it to slide back and forth. So let's try adjusting that first uh, and see if we can move that up just a little bit so it'll catch that. It will go down now. You gotta kind of put it down with some authority. Uh, we get that spare tire in there. We'll get that shut down and that aspect of that one is done. The, uh, the emergency brake still needs fixed, but we have a hood seal seems to be sealing pretty tight. Hey, you even got the book so I can sign right side up. Oh, this takes a little authority until you hear that click. 
Uh, this beetle, we also have a rally strap that actually goes through the hood handle and back under the car. It's a leather strap. I have it off of there right now. So I'd say that is sealing tighter than it's ever sealed before since I couldn't get it shut. Looks pretty good. The hood alignment looks a little bit off. Maybe those back hinges are a little bit off. Getting the, What I mean by that is you're getting a little raise. It's not laying flush. Oops. Probably can't see that, but... So it might be just the hood might be just a little bit sprung. All right, on to the next one. All right, so I'm in the bug and going to fix that emergency uh, brake that I boogered up. I'm going to try and show this. It's going to want to focus on my hand, but up inside, and I'm getting a weird glare. Hang on, let me figure out what's going on here. That's probably the best part for you. You can see that there's a hook on the rod that I'm moving at the end. A little hook on that. That receives this guy that has a ball on the end of it. Let me see if I can get a better, better picture of that for you. But what needs to happen basically is, yeah, I can't really show it very well. This needs to flip up into that ball, but it needs to be flipped the back end of it needs to be down on these grooves. So I gotta push it up far enough to flip that back, get it up in this groove, and let me see how much of that I can film right, for you. So you just need to make this guy go into that little hook up on top. Only the gear side of him needs to flip down the other way like I showed you the time before. Alright, so I had to move the uh, the light so I could get my hand in there. So this guy's pushed up in the little catch. His teeth are down on the gearing. So we should be able to push the button and drop the emergency brake back where it needs to go. And just note to self, I need to not pull on that so hard the next time. All right, it's fixed. Push the button, release it. Seems to be working, okay. That's about as high as that one needs to go. What happens is I just reach in and yank it as far as it'll go and then it gets loose. All right, done. Thought maybe some of y'all might appreciate how I'm uh, laying in here to get that done. There's the emergency brake. I'm laying with my head on the tunnel. That's right. And uh, didn't even have to take the seat out. Tight though. All right, so this one is uh, done for now. We got the uh, emergency brake boot back on there and the hood seal on. Hopefully that stops our blowing your hands cold air issue. Looks like it's sealing pretty well in there. Can't see that real well in the camera, but looks like it's doing a pretty good job. So we're gonna call that a win. This guy done for a while anyway. I gotta put the rally strap uh, back down here, but other than that, this girl, old Ruby, is done. Thanks for watching everybody. Catch you on the next one.